Welcome to week three of 52 weeks of essential oils. I'm Velvet and today we're going to be talking about rose geranium oil. Geranium is known for its balancing effects on everything, right? Everything. Your emotions, your skin. You see it has a balancing effect on your sebaceous production. So it works for any skin type, whether that be acne, mature, it helps with wrinkles, eczema, even if you have really bad congested skin. It supports, tightens, and tones. I like that on all parts of my body, actually. It's great for burns and bruises, broken capillaries, athlete's foot, shingles, and fungus. It's antiseptic, it's anti-inflammatory, and it's astringent. It blends well with lavender, surprise! <laughs> Rose, patchouli, sandalwood, and bergamot. From a perfume point of view, it's a mid to top note. Its vibration runs at 56 megahertz. Its character is yin. The number it resonates with is four. Crystals that it associates itself with is black obsidian, red tourmaline, and rose quartz. Elements, water, and ether. Astrologically, it aligns itself with Sagittarius. It's good for your second and fifth chakra, that's being your sacral and your throat. And the planet that it vibrates with is Venus. It can help the body clear itself of toxins and aids in breaking addictions. It stimulates the immune system. It aids in poor circulation and cellulite, so again you can always make Mix some with a carrier oil and massage it into those problem areas. And I know you might not want to talk about this, but if you have hemorrhoids, it's a great oil to use for that. Make sure that you use it, though diluted, in a carrier oil. It's also great for rheumatism and osteoarthritis. Again, you can just massage it in. So it balances your hormone levels too, so it's great for menopause or PMS. Please avoid this oil in early pregnancy. So now let's talk about what it's really known for, and that's balancing the emotions. Not only does it balance, but it maintains the stability of your emotions as well. So if you're suffering from anxiety or stress, or, or if you're bipolar, this is a great oil for you to use. If you suffer from panic attacks or nervous tension, see how this works is that it's calming and cooling on the central nervous system. When you inhale it, it helps calm the mind eases frustration and irritability while calming agitation, giving you a calm strength and a sense of security. It helps us reconnect to our, our feeling life, you know, uh, emotional sensitivity, pleasure, enjoyment. It reattaches that uh, heart connection that may have been severed through past lives or traumas or, or even a birth trauma in this life. So if you need to let go of something from your past, whether it be a past life or this life, mix it with a little lavender oil and it helps clear that passage and helps reconnect you. Again, this oil is all about balancing. So try a little geranium oil. I love it. I love the smell of it. It's very floral and very close to rose. Obviously not as high of a vibration as rose, but then again, it's also not as high of a price tag as rose. Give it a try. Until next week.